Okay, go. So here's the urinary bladder. And when we look to the side, we can see the uterine horns going up towards the kidney. And the ovary is right here. Oh, look at this. This is an ovary that is about to ovulate. Look at that. There's a little egg getting pushed out of the ovary right there. Neat, huh? And then if we pull up on the uterine horns, this little thin saran wrap-like structure is the broad ligament. You can see some blood vessels running through that. That's the ovarian artery going to the ovary. And we have another uterine horn on the other side. So it's this kind of convoluted looking tube and more broad ligament. So there's the broad ligament. And if we go all the way out, we'll find another ovary right here. And the oviduct is right there. So that tiny little thing is the oviduct. See how it's going towards the uterine horn? And sometimes you can even see fimbriae on the end of it if you're lucky. I'm having a hard time kind of pulling that up right now, but the fimbriae can sometimes be seen. Uh, over here, this would be the fimbriae, right here. All right, so going back down to where the uterine horns meet, right here, this behind the urinary bladder is the body of the uterus. And the ureters are connecting with the urinary bladder on either side of that. So here is one of the ureters, and here's the other ureter. All right, I'm gonna reflect that back again. And inferior to the urinary bladder, you have the urethra. And if we get your probe right behind that, just behind the urethra, is the vagina right there and if we continue to dissect down the urethra and the vagina combine to form when we kind of split this open but to form the urogenital sinus right here so if I put my probe in there, I'll see it because that sinus has been split open, see? So I have my probe in the urogenital aperture or the urogenital orifice because this is where the cat urinary tract combines with the female reproductive tract of the cat. So um, they call it urogenital, uro for urinary, genital for reproductive, urogenital sinus and urogenital aperture is out here. And that's it.